fragrance-free body care favorites for even the most sensitive skin. In the body care routine that I did before summer, I shared a little bit about my psoriasis flare-ups and about how I have little patches on my knees and my under boobs. And psoriasis is a medical condition that needs to be treated by a derm. It's something with a genetic component that I just never knew that I had. And when I shared that, a lot of people started saying, I also struggle with psoriasis or eczema, or I have a lot of issues finding fragrance-free body products that actually work. So I have been taking my time. I scoured the internet and the shelves and tried out a bunch of different products to find the ones that actually are fragrance-free and work for even the most sensitive skin types. We're talking everything from sunscreen to body acne options, etc. So shall we get started with something that my dear Dr. Dre made me do? It's no secret that I am obsessed with Dr. Dre, her content, her recommendations, her knowledge, and her I give no f**ks attitude. And at the beginning of summer, I was using in my body routine the serum from Nyasyasyaoi. Necessary? Necessary? Nyasyasyaoi. I think it's supposed to be like necessary, like it's necessary, but like with a twist. So I'm just going to say it with an accent. Nyasyasyaoi. Anyways, I was using this at the beginning of summer and I wasn't really sure how I was liking it. It's a nice lightweight gel texture, but I was really like, is it giving me the hydration I need? Could I see this for summer? Could I layer it over something during winter, etc. Well, well, my friends, they now have something better. This was what I was using at the beginning of summer, uh, but this was actually a reformulation. They have five different types of hyaluronic acid as well as ceramides inside of this product, and they actually changed it and the pH is slightly lower. Now, what's cool about necessary, 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 it's actually necessary, but you know, necessary. <laughs> Yes, yes, yeah. Dermatologists tested and they actually give back 1% to the planet. They are also climate neutral certified, which is something that I do greatly appreciate, both their actual bottles as well as their packaging. And again, shopping for skincare is not going to save the planet. It's really big changes in corporations and legislature that's going to do that. But if we can do little things here and there, I think that is important. As mentioned, this one does have a lower pH. I find it to be slightly more acidic. And this one actually soaks into my skin much better and is more hydrating and moisturizing without feeling overly goopy. And as we are approaching winter, I have been testing out and trying the body emulsion. This is more of like their version of like a body type cream. And this has some amazing hydrating and strengthening ingredients. The whole thing about this is to strengthen the barrier of the skin on your body. One thing that Nyasasier says is that uh, they use face grade ingredients. So I wasn't aware of this and I don't know what the actual distinction is, but I guess there are some brands that use lower quality ingredients for body products, maybe because I don't know, they're cutting costs or something. I'm not sure. But basically, Basically, these are face safe, even though they are body products, and they're made with the same quality of ingredients, or so they claim, that brands would use on things that do go on the face. But again, this one is to strengthen a skin barrier, and this one also is, of course, fragrance-free. When we actually look at the ingredients, this has jojoba oil. This mimics the oils that our skin naturally produces, and I absolutely love jojoba oil. This also has that niacinamide. We've got that vitamin B3. We've got vitamin C, vitamin E, omegas, sixes, and nines. I have found this to be an excellent body seal that I can actually put over this new serum. I really love these way more together than I ever loved this one. And especially as we are approaching winter and you know I have these little dry psoriasis patches on my knees, this has been a winning combination and this has been great. Now this does have a lemon fruit extract. It's not potent at all and I haven't had any issues with it, but I do just want to call that out. Now Nyasyasir does have different packages. They also have hand creams, they have like body exfoliators, etc. Their entire line is fragrance free, so if you're really struggling to find fragrance free body options, these are going to be some great ones. But for me, it is the emulsion and the serum that I love the best. And Nestor is partnering with us on a portion of today's video. Obviously, they cannot control or change my opinions or my actual experience with the products, especially how they work on my dry patches or the certain areas of my skin that are more sensitive. But Dr. Dre recommends them. I have fallen in love with them. I still have to try out some of the other products, but so far, this new serum is <laughs> eons beyond the other one. And then especially as we're going into winter, layering it with this is phenomenal. Now, what happens if you don't just want some body care options like a gel or a lotion, but you actually want to exfoliate, I have been trying and loving this. This is the KP Bump Boss from Peach and Lily. This has been phenomenal for me. They call it a microderm body scrub and it has physical and chemical exfoliants, but none of these are irritating or jagged. We've spoken about this before, but do not use walnut scrubs. Do not use St. Ives apricot pits. Just don't do it. They are jagged and can be really 
really harmful to the skin, especially if you're using something like that that has a fragrance and then that's getting into a damaged skin barrier. The little bumps on this are actually quite rounded. And then on top of that, this has AHAs and PHAs, which can actually bring some moisture into the skin. It is super gentle, but super excellent. I absolutely love this and cannot recommend it enough. It is absolutely gentle and it is really good if you do have areas on your body that need exfoliation. Now I'm not just talking about elbows, you know, and knees and ankles, but actually on my back, you know, being acne prone, um, my skin doesn't always, you know, slough off the way it should. And I have found that this actually works really well on like my back and my shoulders as long as I'm doing it at night and reapplying sunscreen during the day. Speaking of sunscreens, this UV arrow has really become one of my favorites. It is a spray sunscreen. So don't like spray it and then walk into it. You actually have to spray it on the skin or rub it in. But this is an SPF 45 that is completely fragrance free. There are other fragrance free sunscreens, but I find that this one doesn't have a white cast. It doesn't leave my skin feeling really gross. American sunscreens are really pale in comparison to a lot of Korean ones but if you are looking to protect your skin, this is a great one for every day. This does have that transparent zinc oxide. Now it does have octanoxate, so if you're super, super, super sensitive, be aware of that. But overall, I haven't found this burns me that much. And even when I do apply a little bit to my face, even on my blemishes, which as you can see, I've been breaking out recently, this one is actually pretty decent. It has no fragrances and it has no plant ingredients either. So this is a really safe bet if you are allergic to fragrances or if you do have, you know, cosmetic irritation. And what happens if you get burnt in the sun. This has been a favorite. This is an aloe gel and you know that I love the Holica Holica aloe gel, but they do have more fragrancing ingredients. This one is actually less of a gel and um, more like a liquid. Like it really gets watery very quick, but this one is from Aromatica. It is the organic aloe vera gel and it is basically literally straight up aloe. Um, and it looks like they have a little bit of water in there, some carbomer, and uh, that's pretty much it. Some maltodextrin, which comes from corn. This is an amazing formula. It is super basic. And if you love aloe, if you are looking for something, you know, to soothe after a sunburn, the aloe latex in manufacturing has been taken out. So it's safe for people who do have latex allergies. And this aloe is absolutely phenomenal. And it's actually aloe, whereas most aloe products do have a ton of glycerin. There are also some super thick creams. If you are struggling, this one is amazing from Clior. This is a dry skin relief for 24 hours. It is a body lotion. Now this does not work for me on my face, but that is probably because I am oily and acne prone, but girl, this is thick. As you can see, like it is cloud-like, it is chonky. This is dermatologist recommended, so not just tested, but actually recommended. It's for sensitive skin and it's non-comedogenic. And this basically has water, shea butter, some hydrating alcohols. Uh, it is gluten-free as well for those who are slightly concerned about that, which in my opinion, doesn't matter a ton in skin unless you're putting it in like lipstick. But anyways, this is a phenomenal one and it is super thick and balmy, but it still kind of melts into the skin when you need it to. Now, how could this be a video without my lovely Sarah Meta? I find this to be a vegan, cruelty-free version of CeraVe. This is the ultra moisturizing cream and this is thick. Now, although this is amazing and although it does have ceramides, please keep in mind that this does have some plant extracts like rosemary. So even though it is fragrance-free technically, there is some rosemary. If you are sensitive like none other, I would go for this one because there are no plant like derivatives in there or plant extracts. And then if you can tolerate a little bit more and you want a vegan, cruelty-free CeraVe version, this is it. This is a little bit more like a paste and this is definitely more like like a thick cloudy lotion. But both of these are phenomenal for ankles, for elbows, for knees. Um, if you have exfoliated your skin, if you're going through retinization with a new retinoid, this has been an amazing addition to my routine. For the summer, I find it to be a little bit much, but for the winter, yeah, this is great. Also, what about body acne? We can't forget about this. This is my Sandra Lee MD Salicylic Body Acne Spray. This is the mini one and this is absolutely phenomenal. You can spray your back, you can spray your chest, you can spray your arms, your face, basically anywhere that you are breaking out. And this does have 2% salicylic acid. And then we've got some very basic ingredients such as glycerin, allantoin, beta-glucans, panthenol, which is our vitamin B5, no fragrancing ingredients, and then nothing in here that is like a plant derivative or plant extract. This is one of my favorites, especially because I am very body acne prone. I've been using this for probably over a year, if not two years now. It is absolutely lovely and it is made by Dr. Pimple Popper here on YouTube. And if you are sensitive, sometimes it's really hard to find acne products that don't overly dry you out or irritate skin. And although this has salicylic acid, which, you know, can kind of help exfoliate the skin and it's oil soluble to get into the skin and help with pimples, it does have that allantoin. It does have those beta glucans, which are actually hydrating and supplemental to the skin so that you're not just overly stripping it and damaging your skin's barrier. These are my favorites. And if I'm missing something, please let me know. I've left links to all of these in the bottom tab. And if there's something else that just didn't make it to this list, 
that you think I need to know about, please tell me so that I can try it so that you don't have to. Make sure that this video is liked and always remember to stay hydrated, reapply your SPF, and always be beautiful both inside and out. I love you and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.